Hey guys, I hope that you are all doing well and thank you so much for clicking on this video. So today I am going to make a video about the beginning of wedding planning. I'm planning on doing a whole series on wedding planning and I'm going to do document everything. That was kind of the whole idea of starting a YouTube channel. So I'm very excited. This is going to be the first one of many. If you haven't watched the previous ones, me and Mario got engaged. So we got engaged almost two weeks ago. It was on the 26th of July and it's now the 5th of August and we've done some planning but not obviously not everything I'm just getting into everything so far I actually have a wedding dress fitting my first one it's going to be next week I haven't asked my bridesmaids yet I'm planning on asking them next week Tuesday and so I want to show you what I got them now and I'm still not actually done I need to just finish a few things and then I am going to give it to them so my sister-in-law and my brother is actually coming tonight we're going to pick them up at the airport so they're staying with us for the weekend and then the whole of next week and then we're also going away for the weekend and then they're flying back I think the Sunday so I have to get everything ready and I don't want to be working on getting bridesmaid stuff ready because obviously my sister-in-law is going to be one and I don't want her to see anything but I need to figure out everything now so that's why I'm also making the video now I'm gonna start and just show you what I got them so basically I got them so the one box is actually full of everything now so I'm just gonna show you two but they are exactly the same boxes at Mr. Price home I got three of these beautiful boxes I love blue and I just felt like this is a very nice box that you can still keep in your house afterwards it's not too big and it's also not too small so they can still you know fit a bunch of things in here when they keep the box afterwards or when they want to use it for something else afterwards I've got three of them for each bridesmaid oh, so i'm asking three bridesmaids i don't know if i've mentioned that so i'm asking my sister-in-law my cousin and then also a family friend that's very close to me okay so the boxes are very nice they're very big and everything will fit in perfectly so the first thing i got them is just these normal face cloths um i got them at pape home and they were only like 15 rand so it is very affordable and i just feel like you always need something like this and i like the color and so what i did to just make it a little bit more personal is i just embroidered their names onto the face cloths so each of them have like their name on it i think this is a very nice gift to give them and it just makes the box a little bit more personal and so i got that the second thing that i got them is i got each of them a hair clip i feel like you just always need one these ones in these colors i just got these ones from china mall i think they were like 30 rand one or 40 rand one i'm not sure i can't remember i think 40. i mean everyone needs a hair clip so i just got them so yeah so i got them the hair clips the next thing that I got them are these little bottles. They are just balsamic and fig syrup. I thought that it would be a nice touch and I got these from Poetry and they were 55 Rand each. So I just got them all the exact same flavor. I think that's like also the only flavor that they had. But anyway, so yeah, so I got these ones for them. And then also I got them some hand cream. So I chose these three colors like they smell amazing and um so this one is refresh oh no replenishing this one is the replenishing one the purple one this one i think it's like green or turquoise it is the radiance one i kind of i'm between these two for like my favorite scent and then this one is the aromatherapy lavender and chamomile one it's also a very nice Oh, oops, I'm gonna have to use that. <laughs> oh, wow. These ones are actually a very nice size. They fit into your car or your handbag and I just felt like they're very pretty as well. So, so very, I feel like they were a very good find and I think they were also like 42 or 45 and I'm not sure, I can't remember. Then, what I also got from Mr. Price Home, these three booklets. So the one looks like this, the other one like this, and the other one like this. And this one actually says this is how it starts. So I feel like they can use it for anything. They can use it to plan my wedding with me or they can just use it for whatever they want to. What I also thought would be nice is just to give them a little card. So this is like a little prey. And then on the other side you have a verse and then obviously the prayer is kind of 
about the verse that you just read so i thought that it would be nice to include these little cards into their boxes as well and then what is the box without chocolate so i just i'm just gonna give them each a little chocolate bar from lint of course i've already packed the boxes previously but then i remembered i wanted to make a video about it so i took that footage and i'm just gonna put it in over here okay so here are the empty boxes and then everything that i want to put in there i really hope everything fits but let's start by putting in the face cloth i think that'll be nice so that they can see their names this one needs to be like this thing like that and then maybe let's put the little booklets i think next to the face mask Ugh, the face mask i just felt like that'll be perfect so it looks very nice and then let me maybe let's put in the heavier stuff first so this balsamic and fig syrup i'll put it on the soft face mask for all of them like that and then the hand cream i'm literally just giving each one a color i don't really care like i'm not gonna make them fit like there's no really they aren't really a color scheme so i'm just putting all of them in and then the clips give each of them a different color like give blue and then pink oh so it basically matches with their names i didn't realize that but it does like perfectly um and then the chocolates just also throw this in there put it like that and then the little card with the scripture and the prayer at the back so i just randomly chose three that i really liked so that is basically the boxes there's still kind of a lot of space left so maybe i will still do something else i'm not sure they're gonna open it they're gonna find all of their goodies inside so i think they're gonna like it and i'm very excited to ask them so me and mario went out to dinner with my cousin and her husband last night and they gave me like the sweetest gift so it's from like my cousin and her brother so my other cousin and then my aunt and my uncle on that side of the family and they just all gave me this beautiful so it comes in like this box the net florist they got it from net florist and it comes in this box so you just open it up and then inside they just all gave me a card well for me and mario oh, shame i mean he <laughs> I feel like I really want to, like, I really want to spoil Mario as well. Like, I feel like all of the gifts are actually, like, only for me, for the bride. Um, but I really want to make him feel special as well. So I am, I'll, like, focus on giving him, like, stuff to get him also excited for the, for the wedding. And then they just got me this card. It just says in English, um, to the happy couple, you are engaged. And inside, they just all wrote us a very nice letter and just saying yeah like enjoy like the journey enjoy the planning season and with that for the planning they gave me some highlighters to just highlight everything that i need to remember so when i saw this i was so happy because it's exactly what i wanted let me show you so they got us well me but i'm gonna plan with mario so they got us a wedding planner and this is how it looks what i really like about it is that we can personalize it so we can just write our names in the front and then it has at the bottom uh, at the top it has like all of the categories that you will need like for instance the wedding ceremony you can like fill in all of these places so there's like the date the venue the starting time of the ceremony the ending time and then the bridesmaids groomsmen like their names the order of the events who's the speaker gonna be oh that's nice so over here they have like a checklist of the items required for the wedding ceremony it like kind of reminds you of everything that you need to remember because i feel like that's like the biggest thing for me was it's kind of hard like i wanted to start planning everything but I don't know where to start so 
instead of just starting somewhere, I kind of think about everything and then I overthink and then it gets overwhelming and then I just didn't start at all. What my cousin also gave me is like a bunch of wedding planning <laughs> magazines. I just kind of like the idea of this. Like I know Pinterest is obviously there and it's so much easier to go online and go and search for exactly what you want. But I feel like this is so special to just go through a magazine and just get like inspiration. She gave me two Breitkitz magazines, 2016 issue. And then this one is the 2019 one. So even though it's a little bit like it's a few years ago, you can obviously still get some inspiration in there. And then I have a Traukoers one and then Sari Breit magazine so that's actually very nice oh i missed one another throat one so here's another one so this one is i don't have the date on it i don't know how old they are but yeah so a bunch of wedding magazines and i actually got the newest wedding guide for myself and I really think that it will help you with the planning as well because they obviously have like a lot of photographers, makeup artists, videographers, the dresses, everything inside you. So it just says plan your wedding as follows and then it, it has like a bunch of important things that you need to remember while you're planning and then it, it like for instance also have like a budget sheet so you can like plan your budget so everything is just kind of in there like they even have a honeymoon checklist so when you're going away you will remember everything because obviously you're not thinking about the honeymoon the day before your wedding they even have a suggestion of how your floor plan can look so they will show you like the best way to arrange everything mother of the bride dresses they have stuff that you need to remember for like the groomsmen because you don't like something that mario can maybe look into but i will obviously help him even like the cakes like what kind of cakes that you can have like what you call them the flavors the decorating have online websites that you can use for your rsvps that i am definitely going to be using we are just waiting to get engagement photos because we haven't done that yet so we need to arrange that as well the venue that we actually chose is the one that we got engaged at so if you haven't seen the engagement video yet it's called Under the Oaks if you go on Google, but the name that they have in the front is Pleasant Ways Trout Farm, so I'm not sure. But if you Google Pleasant Ways Trout Farm, you can't find it. But if you Google Under the Oaks Wedding Venue, you can find it. So they have a bunch of cottages and picnic like chalets and stuff as well. So they actually provide accommodation on the venue as well that we are very happy about. And yeah, so it's going to be at Pleasant Ways or Under the Oaks Wedding Venue. And um yeah, I just like when I saw the waterfall and where you can get married and I saw a bunch of pictures of how it looked and I really liked it. I've always dreamed of getting married outside in like in nature, um, like between trees and stuff. So that is kind of like, yeah, what fit our budget as well. And yeah, so oh, and the wedding date, like the most important, the wedding date is going to be the 14th of January 2023. So it's gonna be next year. It was supposed, like initially we wanted it to be this year, but the only date that they had was the 10th of December and we just had too many things going on. Like we were actually wanting to get married in November, but they didn't have any dates left. So we had to pick December. And then when we kind of started to talk with the family, we realized that a bunch of them already had plans over that time. And I kind of like the idea of having a wedding to look forward to in the new year. Like everyone's coming back from holiday. You have something to look forward to over the holiday season. And you know that you're going to have a big wedding and you're going to have, an, well, it's not going to be a big wedding, but you're going to have something to celebrate for the new year. So we are very excited. It's also nice for me because then me and Mario will obviously move in together in the new year. So we'll begin 2023 together in the same house and I'm just very excited for that whole journey. I almost forgot to show you this. So I went to La Visa as well. We are actually having three flower girls and then one ring bearer. 
So the plan was to give them a little box with like jewelry in there for, you know, because they're still little girls. I think it will be very special for them to feel like they're putting on some jewelry. Like when me and my bridesmaids are getting ready, they can also have something to put on or to, you know, get dressed up. Obviously, we're going to do their hair. We're going to give them like little flower crowns. Or I still need to figure that out. But I did know that I wanted to give them something that they can cherish forever or for a very long time at least. So I was looking for earrings and a bracelet and a necklace that had flowers in them. But I couldn't find a necklace or a bracelet that, you know, that had flowers. And then I actually saw these ones at Luvisa. So these ones are perfect. Let me show you one. I got three because we obviously have three flower girls. So this is how one of them looks. So just little dainty white flowers with a little diamond in the center. It was at the buy five things for 100 rand place. I don't know what category, it's off the along. And um, so I got these two as well. Amelie, Mario's sister's daughter, is going to grade three. So she's the oldest one. So I'm going to give her these extra two earrings, the purple and the blue greenish kind of color. And yeah, so she will be receiving these ones. And then obviously I want them all to wear the white ones at the wedding. So I think it's gonna be so cute to see them all wearing the same earrings. So I hope that you enjoyed the video and please subscribe if you want to follow along with the rest of the journey. And then if you want to, I would really appreciate it if you can comment below your wedding advice, like the stuff that you regretted having or doing, the best photographers, videographers, makeup wise, anything wedding related. I would really appreciate if you just have some wedding planning advice, I would really like to receive it. And then if you're from South Africa, please comment below all of the people that you worked with that you would really recommend because I obviously need to still plan a lot like I need a florist I need a makeup artist I need a videographer and all of those things are very important for me and I would really appreciate the help I'll see you in the next video and thank you so much for watching the very the wedding the venue <sighs> this will basically basically I am not making sense of them they are like oh, see me oh. <sighs> ask them next week tuesday tuesday okay asking my sister ooh. like a charcoal faith faith cloth my cousin also 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 gave me